A new antenna was installed today in Scranton to help students learn more about radio waves and their connection to the atmosphere and to space. As Newswatch 16's Courtney Harrison reports, this installation is ahead of a large scale research project. A crane helped put a new antenna and tower into place on top of the Loyola Science Center at the University of Scranton with some excited onlookers nearby. We're going to get some valuable information and a lot of other people are excited about it, so it, it, gets us, it gets us excited too. Dr. Nathaniel Frizzell is an assistant professor of physics and engineering at the university and says this antenna will put a student-run ham radio station online. Dr. Frizzell says ham radios can connect you with people all around the world with its special radio waves. And these signals, when they leave the antenna, they don't just go straight where you can see it, they'll actually go up to the upper atmosphere and they'll be reflected back down to Earth. And, and then it can hop multiple times. There is also science behind those signals, and they can be affected by the atmosphere and weather in space. Dr. Frizzell's project to bring this station to the university was one of five chosen as a part of a citizen's science project with NASA. We have funding for a, a multiple projects studying uh, amateur radio data. We're working on figuring out how we can use it to uh, support knowledge of space weather and, and advanced science as well. Several students and volunteers from other states came to watch the tower go up. They all took part in a previous study during the annular eclipse last month and are looking forward to how much more data they can collect from it. And this is an antenna that lets you hear things. It, you, you need this big of an antenna and this type of a tower in order to be able to have the sensitivity to see these small changes that we're interested in studying. We didn't get to see much with the annular, the way the uh, rotation was in the clouds, so this one, um, I'm excited to get better data with because we'll have better equipment and maybe we'll be able to see something. The total solar eclipse will happen next spring on April 8th, and these scientists and students will be ready for it. Courtney Harrison, Newswatch 16, Scranton.